people believe it's just trash. And it's, it, it, you know, you see guys working with it, so you think they're just trash men. One, it's a business that's very, very lucrative. It's hard work, but it's lucrative. And two, once you get into it, it's something that's there forever. Trash is never going anywhere. It's always going to be trash. What we do here, we process the waste. People don't know, most people don't recycle. So when they dump these loads, we go in and recycle it. We take the cardboard out, the stuff that normally people throw away. We take it, we recycle the cardboard. It's just like with C&D, when people bring roll-off boxes in here, they just throw anything in the box. We take the aluminum out, we take the metal out, we recycle that stuff. We're moving about 1,600 tons a day of waste to five to six different landfills. So it's very important that we you know, keep, keep our operation running. Our permits don't allow for us to keep the waste in the building for any length of time. So what comes in in a given day has to go out and it has to go out efficiently and quickly. Uh, Milton, I need the numbers okay, for um, the boxes, please. Check in. Those guys don't keep running in and out out of this facility. We got problems. When you are talking about equipment, you gotta look at reliability, you gotta look at uh, support, and you gotta look at value. So without those things, uh, it's very difficult to really do your job correctly. So we did a study, we spent like 90 days with my team, and we put a spreadsheet of all the items that we felt were important to have on equipment. So we had, uh, Five of the major uh, equipment manufacturers take part in the process, and we put them to the paces. So the waste environment, as you can see behind me, is very uh, demanding. So in order to keep the equipment running and to, to keep it um, pushing trash and profitable, the equipment has to be customized. Everywhere from the wheels are solid, there's no air, up into the filtration. Pick the equipment, we knew there were certain things that we needed. Uh, one of them was the size of the grapple, uh, 72 inches wide. Uh, the fingers needed to be long so that we could have enough compaction and enough uh, hump to be able to put the material on the trucks even during the dry months and get those ways that we needed to get up to the 78,000 minimum pounds that we need for those trucks. Uh, the long arm is the uh, one that comes right out of the cap up to the grapple and the short arm we needed it short so it won't hit the rafters on top of the building uh, while operating the grapple. We need a high riser, high rise cap to be able to see inside the tractor trailers to give a better advantage to the operators to see what they were doing. Um, we needed the high capacity radiators. We needed the uh, trash package to protect the windows and protect the uh, equipment. Time is money. We try to do things um, quickly, safely, but in a way that we can uh, get as much as we can out of our da daily allowance, as many hours as we have in the day. So as far as downtime, it's at a very minimal. Through the day-to-day -day business, there's absolutely 100% uh, dialogue and contact with each and every one of these um, employees at WB Waste. It's, they either call myself or my service or my parts and everybody is uh, on board. So when there is an issue or a question, we're all contacted and then we get back to them. What is most challenging in this business is the people. What's the most rewarding thing is the people. Um, I love working in this industry. We have great employees, we have great customers. Um, we have great vendors that we work with, and we just love it. In this business, you can count on one thing. It's never the same day. It's always something different happening, and it's never the same thing. So uh, 
I enjoy uh, the fast-paced uh, moving type industry. And uh, you just gotta get on top of it. But like I said, the main ingredient is your team. If you don't have a good team in back of you, you cannot do it by yourself. They are the ones that know how to do it. And they do it every day, they do it well. I enjoy coming to work every day. I work with a great bunch of guys and gals. Um, we are one awesome team. Um, along with the help of McClung and Logan, we can just about tackle anything.